Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do a couple of things today. First of all, I'm going to talk about a new item in my shop, which are these tabs. I know a lot of people don't have that whale tail punch. Uh, this isn't exactly, it looks like a whale tail punch. It's not exactly. I don't know what the size, I don't have a whale tail punch. So I don't know what the size is of a whale tail punch, but I made sort of a faux whale tail punch and I've offered up a lot of like, it's a big bundle of um, things I've created in my shop, uh, some collage papers. So I've made different collages. I've had different collages and I've made them so uh, I put a black edge. I don't know if you can see that. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, there's a black edge around each one so it should work in a silhouette and it I, I know it works in my Scanlon cut because I'll just move these out of the way for a minute. I have cut all of these on my scan and cut. <laughs> They're a little sticky because it's photo paper. I wanted you to get a really good um, impression of what they look like. There's lots. 15 pages is the bundle and I think there's anything and everything kind of in here. A little bit of this, a little, whoops, a little bit of that. I just kind of wanted to give you a general idea. And this isn't even all of them. It's just a general idea of um, what it does, what it can do. You can fussy cut them if you want. I don't like fussy cutting. I've said that over and over in my videos. I don't like fussy cutting. So if I can get it working on my scan and cut, I'm a happy camper. So it works on a, on a scan and cut. You should be able to do this because it has a black edge around, around it um, for you to, I forget what it's called. It's not a scan. It's similar to a scan. Anyway, I haven't had a silhouette in a long time. So this is, oh, there's another one here. Uh, this is kind of how they are. So that gives you a good idea. So I'm just going to move these off to the side. And I'm going to show you page by page. Um, I've already cut one page. So... I haven't cut them all because I didn't want to double cut, like cut them and then have to reprint the, or print them again uh, for me to show them to you. There's lots to see. I hope my autofocus stays off. It's showing manual, so... This is the only one, the only page that I did one full page of, of the grid. The rest are all like different. Like this is a, a full page of stamps that uh, like postage stamps. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, I love this one. It, this one was of my... Um, my French paper that I collaged years ago. And yeah, just more of my collages. This was actually from a page of my, this was a collage with lace. It looks really good. I love it. So there's lots and lots of pages here for you use. I just wanted to bring them to you, 
show them to you. There's other, not so much, uh, other stuff on my, um, Etsy, in my Etsy shop right at the moment that I, I'm working on something. I'll give you a sneak peek. This isn't actually how it looks anymore. I'm doing a digital kit. It's gonna, it's changed a bit. It's for spring. It's changed. It has changed. I've changed it. I didn't want it to be this plain. So, anyway, that's a sneak peek of what's coming. And I had to look for a box today. So I found a box of minute rice and I cut it down and I've sanded it. Um, I wanted to actually put some um, gesso on the inside and the outside. We're going to work on this today. I want to do a glue book. Like uh, a cool glue book. I'll show you what else I've been doing. It's it's not great. Just grabbing them. I have I've had this book for a while, and I thought, oh, this will make a really cool glue book. It's an altered book. So I've glued pages and whatnot, but look at my spine, it's crooked. I cannot, for the life of me, straighten it. That will drive me insane. I can't stand it. But, you know, it would have been great. Um. can't remember where my pockets are. I do have some. But I, I don't like them. I don't like it now. So I'm going to have to gut it. I'm going to have to gut it and just use and just use the book. And I've got all the pages that I ripped out of it. Yeah, I don't like it all warped. The whole book is warped. I don't like it. So I'm not using that. This was a I'll move this for a minute. This was a Sherlock Holmes book that I started a long time ago, and I just have never, I've never finished it. Um, and it is also an altered book. And I was using my, I forget what it's called, Garden Beauty uh, kit in here. And I kind of followed Gail Augustinelli's uh, way of doing it uh, I guess you know for me I don't like altered books that, that that's really what it's coming down to is like I just don't like them and I don't like how how gator mouth they get I, I, I don't like it and I, I just quit using it so I will be pulling all my pages out because I've got a lot of things that are that are you know pinned in or clipped in. I'm going to pull it all out and I'll probably get this book too. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I start stuff. I do stuff. I've been doing a lot of things, but a lot of it I don't like. So if I don't like it, I don't like it. That's all there is to it. So. I'm going to get my gesso and I've got one of these silicone things. I don't know how good this is going to work. Oh, I'm going to take off my black hoodie because I don't want to get gesso on it. The rest of what I'm wearing doesn't matter. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I'm just going to spread this out fairly thin. It doesn't need a lot because we're going to glue paper on it. I'm not sure, you know, what I'm doing really today. Uh, 
I was watching uh, what's her name hmm. I, ha I got a real head problem with people's names I just can't remember uh, I'll leave the link below anyways um, she was talking about glue books she has a glue book uh, um, Facebook page and I've been there I've also watched one of her free classes not that I can't get started gluing uh, like collaging because I've been collaging for years in my in my earlier years when I was using paint and magazines and this is basically kind of the same thing. I, I'm not going to limit myself to printed or not printed. Just hang on. Sorry, guys. This is my hubby. He's a trucker and he's on the road and I had to stop and talk with him. But while I was talking with him, I forgot to show you something so I'm going to just move this aside to dry really well and I'm going to bring over some of the things I've been doing with my embroidery machine um, I haven't used my embroidery machine for a while <laughs> so yeah you know you all uh, you always I always forget stuff so when I did this one I forgot to put stabilizer behind it. So it's all puckered. And even pressing will not bring this back. It is the way it is. But I kind of thought I could still maybe use it as a flip, you know, or something like that. Anyway, so then I did this butterfly. I love the colors of that butterfly. Beautiful. It's just absolutely stunning. Stunning. Beautiful. And here's a couple of birds. I love them. I really, really do. I love them. I love my embroidery machine. I can't believe I forgot the stabilizer the first time. <laughs> and I love these. I love that it is black. Like the leaves are done in black and the rest is color. Uh, I love it. I just absolutely love it. And when I mean, when I talked about stabilizer, well, you can't really see it because I've, I've pulled it off. It does sort of stay in places in the, on, on the back, but you can't really see it. I don't think you can anyway. Uh, there might be a little piece of like paper like stuff right here. It's hard to explain. Um, anyways, uh, I need to learn to use less fabric because I'm wasting a lot of fabric. And this is all of mine I lo love to do on Kona cotton. Um, that's Kaufman, 100% uh, cotton. Uh, I still have like maybe a quarter of a bolt left and that's what I use also for uh, reinforcing my spines and stuff like that so yeah I wanted to just give you a sneak peek of that as well because some of those will be going in the journals I'm making so this should be pretty dry now on this side yeah it's pretty dry I want to turn it over now and do the other side <clears throat> and to be honest with you I don't know what kind of papers I'm going to use I've got books and books and books of papers uh, I don't know I just don't know I think this will be more fun than an altered book I just don't like them so you live and learn. Either you like them or you don't, I think. You know, it's not my thing. So I'm making a new, 
a new journal for, I don't know. I don't know what I'm using it for. I said glue book, but gosh, I don't know whether it'll be a glue book or what it's going to be. We'll see how, we'll see how it turns out. So this is what I do. I just putz around and putz around. Some things work, some things don't, as you've seen. And um, I just like to play. Gosh, why am I not just pouring some out? This is taking forever. I'll just take from there. The gesso just helps. Um, it helps in two ways. It's going to help um, anything stick to it better. Like if I'm using matte medium or if I'm going to use tacky glue or I think everything will stick to it better. Uh, especially to the front because that was... That I sanded and wiped off and then gessoed. But I mean, that's just my thing. I think it comes from my mixed media days. So whether it's right, whether it's wrong, it's my way. Everyone has their own way of doing things. Uh, it's just my way. It's just another way you can make your journals the way you like but when when you're using a cereal box like I have to I think I'll end up sewing some cardstock to this yet to make it stronger so just just going over it just a wee wee bit here <clears throat> and that should be good and I'm using one of those silicone uh, makeup brushes <laughs> it just wipes off I just love it there's nothing to worry about with that so I'm just gonna set this off to the side well <laughs> I'm running out of sides to set it down <laughs> That's probably all we're going to do on that today. Um, I wonder if I should pick papers. No, you know, I'm going to I'm going to pick some papers and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay. Bye now. <laughs>